All right, so today we're gonna to be going over multiplication tables. So first let's make our table right here. We're gonna make it nice and large so we can fit in all the numbers. And uh, let's let's start drawing some some grid lines. So as you know, actually, maybe you don't know, a multiplication table allows you to look up two numbers and then find what they multiply to. Now that's called their product. So we're gonna find a lot of products today and we're gonna fill in all the squares on our multiplication table here. Um, a good way to remember multiplication tables is that it kind of looks like a, a big old uh, bingo board or, um, or tic-tac-toe, but really big. So there are our vertical lines. Now we'll do our horizontal lines and soon Soon, 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 we're going to be filling these in with numbers. Uh, let me move that one down a little bit. That's probably better. There we go. And yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going here. But by the end of today, you should know you're going to learn how to multiply um, all sorts of different numbers. You're going to learn how to multiply one, um, four, maybe even six if we if we get lucky. So. Um, we're going to go through a lot of different numbers today and we're going to hopefully, hopefully learn a lot. So we're almost done with our horizontal lines here. Okay. Looking good to me. Now, of course, multiplication is important to know because if you plan to, um, if you ever plan to go to a store and you want to buy something, what if you want to buy, say, eight things and now you're going to need to know that eight is four times two so um we're going to start putting some numbers in here so we'll fill out our our this column with one two three you know the drill four five i think we've all done this a few times before six seven um eventually we're going to get to some pretty big numbers actually um we're coming up on one pretty soon. Right here, actually, nine. That's one of the bigger numbers that I've ever seen. Um, now we're coming up to 11. Here's 12. Here's 13. And uh, this one, little known fact, is actually called 14. Um, even though it looks sort of like 1, 4, it's actually pronounced 14. So now we'll fill these in. Uh. That's going to be a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. Oh, we're coming across some even bigger numbers here, actually. 15 and 16. Okay, here we go. Here's our multiplication table. And so now we're going to want to fill this out. So the way it works is, if we want to multiply one and one, uh, then you're going to put your finger on both of them, and then you're going to find where they meet, which is going to be right here. And so one times one, of course, is one. And maybe, actually, let's do something. This is a little tricky. My, I don't know if most teachers are going to do this, but I'm going to put it in red. So products are going to be in red. And now we'll keep going along the way. One times two is two, one times three is three, one times four is four, one times five is five, one times six is six, one times seven is seven, one times eight I think is eight. It gets a little tricky once we reach the bigger numbers, but I think one times 10 should be 10. And then we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 15, not 16. And the biggest number of them all is 16. Now, we can actually go through and do that with 2 as well. So um, now we're going to say, okay, what's 2 times 1? And something you'll notice is that it's actually a symmetrical table. So 1 times 2 is actually going to be the same as 2 times 1, which is pretty exciting. Um, it means that you can do multiplication. So that's good. Um, we're coming up on 10 here. I think I'm actually going to start using the... Uh, the number keypad here, it's probably a little easier at this point. 
14, so 2 times 8 is going to be 16. 2 times 9, of course, is 18. 2 times 10 is the one and only 20. 2 times 11 is 22. 24, 26, 28. Now, little known fact, 2 times 15 actually is 30, and 2 times 16 is 32. So we've made some really good progress here. And something that you might be noticing is that uh, it's just like counting by twos. Um, that's just a coincidence. So, um, now we'll move on to, um, threes. Three times one is three. Three times two, of course, is six. Three times three is nine. And now you can start to see the symmetry coming in. Three and three over here, six and six here. Um, three times nine is actually not 23 exactly. It's going to be 12. Uh, 23 is close, though. Um, 15... 18, um, 21, uh, there's actually a rapper I like a lot, uh, called Travis Scott, um, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, and, uh, 3 times 14, this is actually rather difficult for some people, but, um, we, we can follow the pattern because we've done it before. So 42, 45, and uh, this is going to be 40, 48, not 18, actually. Okay. Um, so we've done our 1, 2, and 3 times tables. We're going to move on, but I think we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a switcheroo. I'm going to choose a random spot, and we're going to have to figure it out. So how about right here? This is going to be 8 times 8. That's actually 64. Um, yeah, there's actually this... There's a really nice Nintendo console um, that I really like. It's I have a Switch. It's really cool. Um, and then here we'll go back to the four times tables. So that's going to be 4, 8, 12, 16. This is going to be 20, 24, I think. 4 times 7 is 28. I, I know that. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36, 4 times 10. So the 10 times tables, there's actually a little trick you can use for these. Um, so if you have 4 times 10, you can just put 1 0 after 4, and you'll get 40, and that's going to be the answer. So that's pretty nice for uh, for 10. It actually works out really well for 100 as well. You can just do, um, if you do 4 times 100, it's going to be 400, which is really helpful. So that's cool. Uh, now we're up to 64 here. 4 times 16, of course, is 64. Um, okay, so we've done our 4 times tables. We've done 1 through 4 and 8 times 8. Um, I'm going to pick another random one, too, just to sort of challenge ourselves a little bit to see if we really understand what's going on here. Um, and you can play along at home, too, if you want to try, um, you know, calculating it yourself. So we'll do, uh, how about this one? This is going to be 5 times 10. Uh, so that's a pretty tricky one. It's actually going to be, wait, I'll wait for, for you to think about it. Um, but I'm guessing you've thought about it by now or maybe paused the video. Uh, the answer to this one's actually going to be 50. Um, so you can use the trick I just taught you, actually, and you can come up with that answer pretty easily, which is nice. Um, now the fives, fives are great. We're going to be doing 5, 10, 15. We got 20 coming up, it looks like. Um, 25, of course. Classic. 30. Coming up on the edge there. There we go. 30, 35. Uh, now, of course, 40. Pretty big one, but nothing I haven't seen before. You know, been around the block a couple times. Uh, 55, 60, 65. Now we've got 70, 75, 80. Okay, 80. Um, 5 times 16 is 80. Now we're going to do our 6 times tables. So um, 6 times 1, you know, it always starts off pretty easy, but I, I, would be, I would be lying if I said it didn't get a little bit trickier as you go through these. So we're going to have 6, and then 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, uh, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36. Now there's an easy way to remember that. Um, it's 6 times 6 is 36. Um, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, uh, 6 times 9 is 54, 6 times 10 is 60, um, 
6 times 11 is actually going to be 66 this time around. And you'll notice a bit of a pattern in the 11s column. We've got 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66. Uh, so you'll notice they're all multiples of 11. Um, then 6 times 12 is 72. Uh, 6 times 13. Now that's a tricky one, but we know that it's uh, 78, actually. 6 times 14 is 84. 6 times 15 is 90. Um, that's, that's actually going to be one of the biggest numbers we've seen. Uh, 6 times 16 is 96. So you'll notice actually that as we go through the numbers that they're going to get a little bit bigger each time. Uh, and that's just, that's just because we're, uh, we're doing multiplication. So um, 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Um, and if you ever are wondering about any of these numbers that I'm getting, you can uh, look it up yourself. You can use a calculator on your phone or on your uh, Google Pixel. That's also a phone. Um, and yeah, so that's you can you can do that if you're curious. Uh, that's not right. Seven times seven is forty nine, not forty eight. Uh, seven times eight is actually fifty six. Uh, that's one of the harder ones. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be all right. Seven times nine is sixty three. Seven times ten, seventy. Of course, how could how could you not, right? Uh, seventy seven is seven times eleven. Seven times twelve is actually eighty four. Seven times thirteen is ninety one. Um, ninety one is a rare number. We call it that because um, it doesn't come up very often. Uh, seven times fourteen is ninety eight. Uh, 7 times 15 is 105. Oh, this is a little bad. We're starting to run out of room in our boxes, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, 7 times 16, of course, leaves us with 112. Um, and so that's really satisfying. I like that a lot. We're going to do another random one just to sort of, you know, flex. Um, so let's, let's see. Let's do, uh, how about this one? This is going to be 12 times 12. Um, now that's actually going to be 144, and I know that because 12 times 12 is 144. So now we'll go back to our 8 times tables. We've got 8, of course 16 coming up next, 24, 32, 40 is a pretty big one, um, important one I mean, 48 is next. Um, 56, 72 is 8 times 9, 8 times 10 is 80, believe it or not, um, 8 times 11 is 88, that's a nice one, 8 times 12 is 96, 8 times 13, now that's a tricky one, but it's 104, um, that's, that's a, that's a big one, um, next up, of course, we've got 8 times 14 is 112, 8 times 15 is now 120. So we're reach, we're we're reaching um, the big the big numbers here. 128 um, for 8 times 16. That's pretty exciting. So we'll move on to the 9 times tables. Now these are fun uh, because they go like this: 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. 63 and you might be noticing a pattern and it's that um, I'm saying them at a relatively even pace actually um, 81 90 99 108 there we go 117 now if you had asked me if 117 was equal to 9 times 13 I would have said yes because it is um, 126, 135, oh, that doesn't look very good, we're going to need to keep it in the box here, there we go, um, and then finally 9 times 16 is 144, and you might have noticed we've actually seen 144 previously, and that was over here, um, 12 times 12, so just keep that in mind, um, yeah, now we'll do our 10 times tables, so these, easy, easiest ones ever, we've got 10, 20 and you know this is the trick this is the trick I taught you before uh, you just put the number in front of a zero and then you have your answer so we've got like 60 we've got 70 of course in our little box here we're gonna put 80 right here 90 right here 
100. Now that's one of the biggest numbers. Um, 110, 120, 130, 140. And now you might be asking yourself, what's 15 times 100? Um, and to that I would say 150, or sorry, 15 times 10. Um, I didn't, I'm sorry, I, I might have confused you there. 160, okay. We're on to our 11 times tables now. And this this is where you might start to worry or you might start to fret, um, but we're, we're gonna get through it all right. So 11 times one is 11, 11 times two is 22, 11 times three is 23, 11 times four is 44. Did I say 23? I meant 33. 11 times five is 55, 11 times six is 66, 11 times seven, nothing more than 77, 11 times eight is 88, 11 times nine is 99, and 11 times 10 is 110. Bet you didn't see that one coming. 11 times 11 is 121, 11 times 12 is 132, and 11 times 13 is 143. And believe it or not, 11 times 14 is 154, 11 times 15 is 165, and finally 11 times 16 is 176. Let me take a sip of water before we move on to our 12 times tables. Ah. All right, 12s. So 12 times one is 12. 12 times two, 24. 12 times three, 36. 12 times four is 48. 12 times five is 60. 12 times six, and here's the thing. You might say to yourself, I don't know 12 times six, but you can actually check what's six times 12. And you'll see six times 12 right here is 72. We've done this one already, so we can put it right here, 72. 84 is the answer to 12 times 7. 12 times 8, of course, 96. 12 times 9 is just 12 more than 96, which gives us 108. 12 times 10 is equal to 120, not QW, 120. 12 times 11 is 132. We've done 12 times 12, look at that. Um, we've got, of course, 12 times 13. This is where it gets a little bit trickier than I'd like, but 156, it's, it's, it's pretty doable, I think, still. Um, 12 times 14, on the other hand, is 168. 12 times 15 is 180. And finally, 12 times 16 is 192. So those are our numbers for this column, or for this row. We've got two rows left, 13 and 14. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. These are probably the hardest ones we're gonna to do today, but we're gonna get it done. We got 13 times one is 13. 13 times two is 26. Um, 13 times three is 39. If you add 13 to that, you'll get 52. If you add 13 again, you'll get 65, not 64. If you add 13 again, you get 78. Another 13, 13 times seven is 91. That's a nice number. We've actually seen 91 before when we did seven times 13. Um, and it's what we call a rare number. So 104 is 13 times eight. Um, I don't know if we've seen 104 before. Oh, we have when we've done eight times 13 right over here. Um, next, we've got 13 times nine, of course, that's gonna be 117. 13 times 10 is 130. 13 times 11 is 143. 13 times 12 is 156. 13 times 13 is 169. 13 times 14 is 182. That's a large one. Um, 13 times 15 is gonna be 195. That's a, a large one as well. And we're coming up on a milestone here. 13 times 16 is actually 208. So 200 um, is the number that comes after 199 and 208 just means eight more than 200, which is pretty big. Uh, now we're gonna do our 14 times tables, and that's that's our last one for today's video, but uh, maybe in future videos we could go up to, I don't know, 100 or maybe even 1,000, we'll see. Um, 14 times one, though, is gonna be 14. 14 times two is 28. 14 times three, on the other hand, is not 28, it's gonna be 42. Um, 14 times 4 is 56. 14 times 5 is a great number that I like to call 70. Um, most of my colleagues call it that too, actually. 
Uh, 14 times 7 is 84. 14 times... Oh, sorry, that was 14 times 6. Um, I'm sorry for misleading you there, but 14 times 7 is actually 98. 14 times 8 is 112. 14 times 9 is 126. 14 times 10 is 140. 14 times 11 is 154. 14 times 12 is 168. 14 times 4, or 4, ah, not 14 times 13. 14 times 13, 14, 14 times 13 is 182, which we've actually done before. Uh, 14 times 14 is 196. Uh, that's also known as 196. You can say either one, 800 or 100. Um, normally people don't really mind. Uh, 14 times 15 is 210. Um, and finally, the biggest number we're going to see all day, 14 times 16 is 224. Um, and those are our, that's, that's going to be our multiplication table. So if you want to print this out, um, let me put a quick title on it for you, and you can, uh, you can print it out. Um, we're going to want to explain what this is, of course. So I'll move it down here. We'll title it Multiplication Table. And we can put this in size 36. Now this is sort of an advanced multiplication table. I know not all of them go up to 16 and 14, but um, I'd say it's a pretty good one personally, and I'd, I'd definitely recommend using it if you're uh, interested in multiplication or maybe interested in working in the multiplication field someday. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things you can do with this. So um, uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. Um, and as I always say, 3 times 8 is 24. See you guys.